Hi YouTube, this is Dr. Wanda. I know you can't see me. I really want you to focus on something that I learned to do since I've been here in Ghana. And I've learned to actually make my own suppository. So even though this is not a, a popular topic, we know that we eat a lot of processed food in the West, a lot of genetically modified food, and that slows down our digestive tract. So when you come to Africa, most things are organic, you're getting fresh, fresh chicken, fresh fish, and, and, and lots and lots of fresh vegetables. So you start moving again, but you still sometimes come from what they call the piles, and what we commonly know as constipation. So my mother-in-law gave me a powder that is called cocoa powder. So it's K-O-O-K-O. Okay, not to be confused with chocolate, even though this is brown. And so you can mix some and take it orally with apoteshi, which is the local gin that is medicinal. But you also can get something like shea butter. For this purpose, I've used uh, cocoa butter. This is 100% raw cocoa butter. And I just scraped a little from the cocoa butter. I added it with some of my powder. And then I actually like to knead it with my fingers to make sure that all the lumps and everything get mixed up. The first time I did it, I used shea butter, but shea butter melts faster than cocoa butter. The cocoa butter tends to stay more firm. And after I've mixed it good and pressed it, um, I'm gonna shorten this just because this is a demo. I took some aluminum foil and I made it into a cup form. I put it in there as much as I can, you know, take your time you'll be neater than me and once I have it in the aluminum foil I make it where it closes on itself so that you end up with a tooth and once you have it closed it will begin to press on both ends so then you know that you have what will eventually be a uh, suppository so I stick this in my little freezer and once it's done and I open it up, then I have an actual suppository. This has been sitting out a little bit, so that's why it's not as firm as it was, but it would have been a firm tube that you can insert in the rectum. And what this does is, it's, it doesn't necessarily cause you to evacuate, but what it does do is heal the damage that you have from straining. So where you couldn't get normally get up there, get the medicine up there, now you have something that's nice and firm that can go up in there. And again, I've been sitting out, so you can't see it as hard as it was, but it, it comes out as a complete hard, like crayon texture, and you're able to insert and give yourself some relief. So again, this is not a popular topic, but it is a health topic, it's an important topic, because a big chunk of our sickness starts with not passing it, it, it actually is somehow associated with the rectum okay so if you find yourself in, in in africa and you're constipated a little cocoa powder some uh, raw shea butter or cocoa butter you mix it get you some aluminum foil double it roll it stick it in the freezer and in about 20 minutes you can give yourself some relief and um i'm signing off i would